Hey, what's up guys? Ace Player here, and welcome back to another Stick War 3 video. Today, we have awesome news about the armory. You can now separate your skin pieces, much like the big brother of Stick War 3, Stick Empires, and you can pick your, well, pretty much anything. Uh, there's a couple units that have a couple of things missing, but for the most part, you can choose whatever you want. Um, buy it for the adjusted price and now wear it mix and match and have a lot of fun so this is great news and it means that the customization in this game is just going to get exponential baby when you add like one skin you create like however many skins existed variations like minus one there's so much stuff that can be possible now because of this new feature now, I will be quick to address the elephant in the room. What are with these Archidon prices? I don't even know what to say, but for some reason, the Vamp Archidon is, you know, 300 gems more expensive than the Vamp Sword. Like, the Quiver ain't that cool, man. And now you can procure giant clubs as well as the helmets. And, uh, of course, you can equip the default skin. Now, in Stick Empires, when you were changing your armory items, you would be able to see the entire team as you were adjusting the fit, if you will, making sure the drip matched the drop. The team was rocking. They all had their t-shirts on and were nice and uniform, or they were just a bunch of wacky combinations of cool looking guys. But you were able to adjust the entire team and that is not really something that can be done with Stick War 3 because there's gonna be about a gazillion units in this game. And uh, it's definitely more than nine, so you can't fit it all onto a screen, especially on mobile. So right now, you can only adjust the like current unit on the screen and not actually see how they uh, look with the rest of the squad. And this is something I hope will eventually make its way back into the armory, because right now, the armory, while it is cool that you can customize whatever you want, it just kind of feels like it's devoid of soul right now. Uh, you can't see your boys chilling, you can't even see how the skin looks on the guy before you procure the skin. So it's just kind of a very bare bones right now. Now with a system like this, you're of course always going to be excited to have a randomize all your skins option. and. Uh, Hopefully that will eventually make its way in. But I would also really like to see a feature where you can choose a certain aesthetic and the game tries to uh, match your army skins as close as it can to that type of vibe. So for example, if you're going for like a dark or moody vibe, uh, the game might decide to give you like the vamp, but they wouldn't give you something like lava because that's more of a bright uh, aesthetic. Or, for example, you could be like, I want the most powerful skins. So it'll pick the coolest looking skins for all your guys, the ones that are the most, you know, dangerous. For example, this vamp shield looks a little spookier than this normal shield or this leaf shield, right? Uh, so it would pick that. I feel like stuff like that would also be really fun to do. Um, and hopefully we see these options in the armory. And while the old Stickwear Legacy skin system of just picking the entire outfit is gone, I definitely don't think it should be forgotten because I think there is potential for some super cool elite skins. Now, I've seen this happen in games like Dead by Daylight where you can change a couple of appearance items, but there's also these costumes that are like very well done, very top tier, higher quality than the rest, but they are like a set piece. You can't modify what is happening in the head or the weapon, for example. I could see full skin sets like these being options to apply to your units or maybe to a general that is important. Uh, so maybe like a Xyphos could have a B-side skin where he's very uh, war-torn or something. I don't know. So it's sufficient to say the future of the armory definitely looks bright, but I do have some concerns that I'm going to address with you guys now. While the new customization system has unlimited potential, we gotta remember that as players, we do not have unlimited gems. Players are gonna be very restricted in what they're able to customize with the current prices as they are, especially if they continue this way uh, with more units getting added down the line, and more skins too. 
Like, despite only having six units with skins so far, if you wanted to buy every skin piece right now, it would run you up a grand total of, like, over 12,000 gems. And there's 18 units in the game, and only six of them have, like, a couple of skins. So this can definitely, like, get out of hand really quick. And I'm just not sure how we're going to be able to afford all these things if, like, say, one day Stick War 3's roster surpasses, like, 50 units with, like, a third empire on its way and everything. Will this leave free-to-play players in the dust? While we can't know for certain how the developers at Max Games will address the grind of gems in the future, I do have a few ideas in mind that can help reduce the grind. Number one, there could definitely be cheaper armory items out there on the market like clubs or sticks. We saw this with Stick Empires, the Sword Wrath was able to buy cheap clubs and swords and stuff and then towards the end they were able to buy like chainsaws and stuff that were much more expensive and were way cooler and worth the price. Number two, there could be a chance to just be gifted skin pieces and sets for uh, progression in the game. I could probably see this happening as it's already what happens in Stick War Legacy but now you wouldn't be getting everything at once. Number three, I prefer this one to number two, by the way, but a choice of skin piece slash set as a reward. So instead of getting randomly given a skin piece that you may or may not care about on a character that may or may not be used by you, what if you got to choose which piece you got to pick? And it mattered to you because that was what you were going for. I think player choice is probably the best way uh, to dish out these skin rewards if they're going to be dished out at all. Number four, the ability to sell skin pieces. If I don't want to use a skin anymore because I have a much cooler version, I want to be able to sell it to fuel my next skin ventures. I don't think it's necessary to be able to just collect all these items and never use them. Like maybe it'll be cool for the randomization feature that I am looking for, but uh, beyond that, people just want their new skin that they're after. They don't want to reminisce on the past skins that they don't use anymore. Selling a skin is definitely not something that has happened in Stick War before, but uh, this is the first time for everything, I suppose. And of course, it's not that big of a deal now with only like five skin sets, but we're talking like hundreds of skins down the line. Do you really want to still have your ice skin when there's going to be so many cooler things out there? I don't think so. Number five, the ability to buy random skin pieces at a discount on a black market. So this would be kind of like a daily refresh thing where every so often the black market would have a couple of discounted armory items you could procure and maybe it might just be what you're looking for and it's your lucky day. This could definitely be fun and it would incentivize players to log in every day a little more often for the chance to get a little extra serotonin boost. And then number six, which is definitely an interesting idea, which is make first skins for each unit cheaper than the rest. Now, we're mainly concerned about getting that first skin on the unit when we're talking about, oh, how are we gonna address 18 units needing skins? I'm not too concerned about the players who want like 10 skins on their sword rat, but I am concerned about the players who just want one skin on all their guys, or like even just a piece of a skin on their guys, like a sword. It's definitely a reasonable request, and if we make the first skin for each unit cheaper, we'll be able to at least give everyone a little something something on their guy that isn't just the default skin. While not all of these should be implemented at the same time, I do think a certain concoction of these in just the right way can provide very fruitful results and make the players a lot happier. So to wrap it up, in my Stick War expert opinion, the armory system is filled to the brim with excitement, but I am definitely going to reserve my judgment until I see how they deal with the big scalability issue that is going to eventually plague this system. It's just the natural course of things when you just add a ton of things, there's too much. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they distribute it to the players. I don't see any mobile games out there giving players this sheer degree of customization, and for good reason. It's like really hard to do. While most games will let you equip one outfit for $7.99 or something ridiculous, I'm looking at you Clash of Clans by the way, Stick War 3 is prepared to offer you near unlimited customization for in-game currency and pure grind. 
Now that's an excellent prize. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the new armory system and the future that it will hold. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.